Coming off a rough loss to Cappuccino last week, the Scots will look to bounce back in their rivalry game against Sequoia. The winner of this game also receives the Terramere Trophy, which the Scots will look to win back for the first time in four years. Let's see how they do. Cool moment to start the game as senior Dwight Norton ran in the first play of the game for a 65-yard touchdown. The Scots came out running a successful offense, with senior Jake Kumamoto leading the way with what would be a 200-yard rushing night. This soon translated into points on the board, as the Scots took a 7-0 lead going into the half. No, it's been awesome, you know. I never really thought that, you know, it'd be this big. You know, I always envisioned it to be really big, but after seeing what it was like at home, you know, that's our full potential, and if it could be like that every week, it'll be crazy. The Screaming Scots came out pumped for the second half, as well as the Sequoia offense, who took a 14-7 lead after traded interceptions between the two teams. Yeah, it was just really fun, like, being with everybody here for our last year. I think this year is awesome. Just take a look behind me at the crowd. We've got the biggest crowds that we've ever had at Carlmont for Scream Screaming Scott. So in terms of school spirit and overall atmosphere here at this stadium, best ever. The homecoming was incredible. Again, the crowd was just, just dynamic. And every single game that we've had here, you look at the size of the crowd, I've never seen Screaming Scott so big. I'm really proud of the fact that these the guys leading Screaming Scots, including my son, that's what I'm going to take away from this year. The Scots soon bounced back as efficient red zone offense and a run by senior Chanel Patel tied the game back up. <laughs> Tensions were high on and off the field with the game heading to overtime soon after. The Scots struck first in overtime, with sophomore Timmy Pouth finding senior Nico Ferrario with a lob in the end zone, gifting the Scots a seven-point lead. Hey, come on, However, a Sequoia injury stalled momentum, and Sequoia wasted no time matching the Scots, as well as kicking a go-ahead field goal, making the score 24-21. With the game on the line, the Scots came all the way to the goal line, leading to a game-deciding fourth and goal play. For the last time this football season, from Scott Center, I'm Keon Karamdashi. Thanks for watching.